<laughs> Welcome everyone. I'm Christine and this is our Wednesday night meditation. We have a new format. We are um, on Zoom, which allows us to have the group effect. So our participants here in the studio or here live where we can look at each other and enjoy the smiles and the, the presence and the effort of getting here, that shared energy. And we also have Zoom um, so that at the end of our meditative time, I can stop the recording and we can chat about how things, how things were for you. So tonight, I would like to begin as we always begin with any kind of prayer or meditation or contemplative practice with, first of all, acknowledging how grateful I am that we're doing this, right? And how it's really a little miracle every time we're able to set this uh, time and place off from the ordinary pieces of life. And we can uh, work with certain anxieties. We can work with um, poetry, which we'll do tonight. We can work with the breath, whatever it is, whatever it, uh, whatever you might take away from a meditation practice. Um, I feel like any, anytime you cross the threshold into that state, you reinforce the, the grooves in your mind and in your body that allow you to more easily access those, um, uh, those goodness, those resources out in the regular part of the world in, in regular. So thank you. Yes. So if you would like to check for comfort, let's have you settle in, maybe feel the heaviness of the hips and clear the breath. And in just those two tiny things, Notice any shift in the body. Notice if the eyes or the head want to instinctively do something. Maybe the eyes want to soften their focus or even close. As you continue with that very short check-in of weight of the seat, clearing of the breath, Continue to add to the things that you might notice. First, it might be something around the head or the eyes. What is it that you notice next? Hands, feet. Maybe the jaw. Give yourself permission to be openly scanning for something that you might notice in the physical body. For some people, it could be temperature in the air. It could be a sense of pressure around the head. behind the eyes. Let's continue adding to what it is we can observe. Feel the seat. Note the, clear, the clearing of the breath, let it go. And have one more scan here through the physicality of your body. And if you notice something that is uncomfortable, let's address that here in these first 60 or 90 seconds. It would be great if we could find a way to get comfortable with a certain level of discomfort.
So support, cushions, a little honesty about what you might need here. And then we'll move more formally into noticing the breath. When we move from the body to the next layer, the energy, the life force, the movement that we call breathing. Having made the step across the threshold, <clears throat> we reconnect with something that you might consider your true home. Breath. The way gravity holds you here. And the community of meditators, the ones right here and the ones everywhere. Let the breath travel to the softness of the belly. Rises toward the heart. And then exhale, relax the chest. Pull the navel in and complete the exhale. Breathe in belly to heart. Exhale, heart to belly. Let's work with this very simple back and forth for the next two or three minutes. Breathe in belly to heart. Exhale, heart to belly. Breathe in belly to heart. Exhale heart to belly. Breathe in belly to heart. Exhale heart to belly. Breathe in. Exhale. It is the nature of the mind to look for more than this. So we won't fight that big, beautiful brain that has kept you alive so far on the earth, doing things for you, planning, organizing. Harness the energy and observational quality of the mind to breathe in belly, to heart, heart, to belly. Tonight I'll share a poem with you as you continue breathing gently, rhythmically. It's by an American author named Jane Kenyon. And it's called Coming Home at Twilight in Late Summer. Coming Home at Twilight in Late Summer. We turned into the drive and gravel flew up from the tires like sparks from a fire. So much to be done. The unpacking, the mail and papers, the grass needed mowing. We climbed stiffly out of the car, 
the shut off engine ticked as it cooled. And then we noticed the pear tree, the limbs so heavy with fruit, they nearly touched the ground. We went out to the meadow. Our steps made black holes in the grass and we each took a pear and ate and were grateful. Coming home at twilight in late, in late summer, that sense of returning Notice how the cycle of the breath is so similar. Coming home to yourself. Coming home to a slow and natural pace. Notice what feels familiar as you come home to this breath practice. Is there something here like a ripe pear that feels nourishing? Breathe it in. and let it go. Perhaps there are sounds here in the room, like the ticking of an engine that help you stay right here. Could be the sound of my voice. Perhaps it's the sound of your own breath. In long spaces of silence, notice if the mind has traveled to the past or the future and bring it home. In a way, this gift of the wandering mind allows us to come home. So when you notice thinking, thinking, celebrate your observation and return to the path of coming home at twilight in late summer. Breathe in belly to heart, heart to belly.
there is always so much to be done. Mail and papers, grass to mow. And yet, there's a pear tree. Notice its limbs heavy with fruit. The limbs are so heavy with fruit, they nearly touch the ground. And you can reach the fruit easily. In the same way this breath comes and it leaves, making space for the next. Notice that you're not alone as you walk toward the pear tree. Someone traveled with you. You might make space for that presence. Someone who is grateful along with you, grateful for you. This presence could be someone living or not living, human or not human. And they're part of your journey. Gravity is here, sound is here. Your life force, your breath is here. It is familiar, immediate and nourishing. You won't hear the sound of my voice for the next three or four minutes. I would invite you to stay with the sensation of your breath, of your presence here, and also to notice when the mind wanders, which it will, how it feels to come home. Back to presence.
Coming Home at Twilight in Late Summer by Jane Kenyon. We turned into the drive and gravel flew up from the tires like sparks from a fire. So much to be done. The unpacking, the mail and papers, the grass needed mowing, we climbed stiffly out of the car. The shut off engine ticked as it cooled. And then we noticed the pear tree. The limbs so heavy with fruit, they nearly touched the ground. We went out to the meadow. Our steps made black holes in the grass and we each took a pear and ate and were grateful. There's a hidden blessing in this busy life that we live. And that is this sensation of time away from time, coming home to the breath, the body. Let's take one more minute here. And if you'd like to, in these final moments of our seated meditation, include any statements inside your mind, maybe even with a hand over the heart, over the belly, any statements of gratitude or people, presence, even food in your life that you're grateful for. Let that come, acknowledge. <clears throat> 